hello guys welcome back uh, today we will see how to integrate database with JDBC in, in our spring MVC application okay so what we will do we will manage a list of contacts uh, I'll not manage I will not create any separate view or something like that I will just show up how it actually operates so I will just create uh, insert update and delete statements and just show you how it works okay so let's come to JDBC so what is JDBC uh, JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity API it's the industry standard for database independent connectivity between the Java programming language and any other vendor specific database okay so we'll use MySQL in our case so let's see how how we'll configure the Spring MVC to work uh, to implement the JDBC so first we'll go to we'll have we'll first need to download our specific jars if I'm using MySQL I need to have a MySQL connector if I'm using Oracle I need to have JDBC thin driver or if I am using uh, H2 database I need to have the H2 jar so it depends on the vendor specific what vendor you are using so I am using MySQL so I will just show you I have already added over here but I will just show so I have added MySQL jars over here my spring jars are already in the class path ok so just do it ok and then we will go to our web.xml uh, sorry uh, sub dispatcher server.xml we are taking the same example that we have used previously the basic setup that we have done ok so no need to worry about it so here what we will do we will define a data source bean we need to define the data source bean that comes from the JDBC API ok so here we will define all the connection properties such as uh, the driver class name driver class name and then URL password username database name whatever whatever the required will use this ok so what is the simple J we are using a JDBC template over here so the simple JDBC template class wraps the classic JDBC template ok so now what is JDBC template? The JDBC template class is the central class in the JDBC core package of Spring MVC. Okay, it handles all everything related to creation, release, uh, release of resources. Okay, as it helps us handling the errors such as closing connection. Suppose if we, in case if we forget to close the connection, all those are things are handled the JDBC template. So before actually going on to the code, I, will, I just I was just uh, simply explaining you the what is JDBC template because this this is what we will be using more and more in this example. Okay, so JDBC template executes the SQL <coughs> sorry ex executes the scale queries, update statements, and all the PLSQL procedures. Everything everything is done by this JDBC template. Whatever you can imagine in a database. Okay. So we have configured our data source and now we will have our contact DAO. So we will create our DAO that I already I have already created over it. So this will perform all these four operations. Okay. Four or five operations, whatever. So I will write an implementation class of it. So here what you'll do will auto where we'll configure the data source because whatever bean we have defined in our dispatches of letter XML, this is the name of the bean. So I will auto where over here and use this bean. So I have my implementation written over there. So this is the implementation. So in that implementation, the data source bean is auto aware. And let's write an example of inserting a data. So I have the insert query something like this. So here I am calling a JDBC template and creating an object of JDBC template because whatever perf whatever operations, whatever. Uh, whatever we can do in uh, database it's all handled with JDBC template over here JDBC template is a basic implementation and it's present in the JDBC core package okay it also catches JDBC exception and translates them to the um, into a more stable or a more meaningful information so everything we can imagine is done with the JDBC template that's it so let's let's uh, start with it 
So what I've done is I've created JDBC template object and I passed the data source over here as a reference. Okay. So JDBC template we are uh, we're passing the data source as a parameter. Okay, so the data source should always be configured as a bean. It, it is mandatory to configure data source as a bean in the Spring IOC container. Okay. So uh, this is how we have configured as a bean. Because until now, if you don't configure, you cannot use it. This bean. So. So this is JDBC template and what I am doing over there is I am I am executing a JDBC template update and what I am passing over here the SQL the query that I have created in the templates the kind of prepared statement that we used to use in a normal JDBC and I have assigned those values over here connection dot get contact dot get ID contact get get name and the default twenty three so let's take a look at our contact table. So this is my contact table having three parameter, three uh, fields basically. So this is all all those three fields that I have set over here. And if I execute it, will run. So let's take an ex I just take a look at it. So I'll uncomment everything. Sorry, comment everything and uncomment the insert one. So let's take an example. I will insert the record with record edit tool. So, I have not done anything extra here over here. I am just doing it in the default uh, URL just to show up. Because, okay. So, just see how it works. Okay, so this is how it works. So, it's the same way we can, we can create an update statement as well. See, there, there, there are things that we can do. You, I, I have uh, uncommented this thing because this is the this is the way you, we used to do in uh, normal Java, the normal JDBC. It's not too much different, but yes, Spring provides something known as JDBC template. This is the central class that handles everything. So I can on, I still now I can still create a query and then create a prepared statement out of it and then uh, uh, create and get the result set. But uh, there's a long process that we do, basically. So I'll just show you how to uh, get the user list because that's a bit more interesting. So I'm I need to uh, get the contact list from my database. So what I'll do, I'll create a JDBC tip as before we did, and then we are using a new contact row mapper. So what is the concept of a row mapper, right? So the concept of row row mapper is that we are mapping our contact row contact row mapper okay this is an interface provided by spring jdbc there is an interface known as row mapper and my contact row mapper class implements that interface so let's have a look at the contact row mapper class it implements the row mapper interface okay and what it, what it does it does is it's it just maps the rows in a result set on per row basis each single row is mapped to the this row mapper okay row mapper with result set extractor is a powerful combination actually to map the relational database rows to the beans that is the contact beans so here I have used a contract extractor. So contra uh, contact extractor implements the interface. <coughs> sorry. It, it implements the interface result extractor. Sorry, result set extractor. Okay. What it does, it accepts the result set as an input and then returns the list implementation of the extracted data. So let's have a look at the see. Okay. So it takes the parameter as a contact, extract data, it takes the parameter as result set, sorry, result set and then it returns the 
contact bean and this bean is extracted in the contact row mapper and this row mapper now is returns this list as a list okay so ultimately we, we are storing it at uh, storing the result as a list see the contact row mapper contact list right so this is the main main, main scenario just have a look at uh, our code the code that we previously used was a bit hazy one hazier actually and this 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 code looks a bit clear right so this is how we can get the list of, of from a database okay i think that's understandable so overall jdbc template is the ultimate solution here okay we can do many 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 things uh, using this jdbc template There's lots and lots lots of things used so the same way i'll show you the annotated controller for the getting the list i'll just uncomment it sorry comment it and then i'll show you the list size because we just inserted a list so the data i am just printing out what what is the size of that list so this is 3 and it should give the output as a 3 right so this is what it gives I have not used in standard code, but yes, I have just used to show you how it works actually. So I have to, I have the contact DIM pill being defined over here, been declared over here actually, and the data source. These are two, these are two most important things. So if you have database, you can use it by using the property configurator, you know. So you can configure your database properties into some property file and use that property well over here. That also you can do the same way this way. I'll show you in case if it's needed. Please leave your comments over there. I will just use it. So thank you. Thanks for watching. And and, and, and another and all those operations update is same. Update it doesn't have anything extra. So I've not shown over here. Update and delete are same basically. Okay. So I'll upload the update this code once and please leave your comments below.